This is the last video on the basic nomenclature in chemistry. We're going to look at some common names. So even though we may have chemical formulas for this, for example, we can call this dihydrogen oxide, we of course all know this as just water. And so when you see an H2O molecule, you think of it as a water molecule, you don't think of it as, oh, that is a dihydrogen oxide molecule, although you could call it that. So some other common names for NH3 is ammonia. For CO2, of course, that's carbon dioxide in the gaseous form, but in the solid form, we tend to call it dry ice. It looks just like ice. Don't touch it. It's very, very cold because it's, it becomes uh, dry ice at minus 80 degrees centigrade. And of course, if you touch that, it's be very, very cold. Uh, sodium chloride, of course, we know that as common table salt, the stuff you put on your french fries and your food to make it taste better. Uh, sodium chloride, known as table salt. N2O is laughing gas. Um, we could call it dinitrogen oxide or nitrous oxide is another name for that but we also know it as laughing gas and that's the stuff that they used to use to put people to sleep so I can operate on them back in the old days we have calcium carbonate that's also known as either marble chalk or limestone depending upon how it's being compressed and what form it, it is found at but calcium carbonate is a form of chalk uh, that you write with on the blackboard or if it's compressed and under heat and pressure it can turn into marble. Quicklime is cal calcium oxide. Now baking soda, the stuff you have in your refrigerator in the little boxes, that's called sodium hydrogen carbonate or baking soda for the common name. Uh, washing soda is sodium uh, carbonate mixed with 10 uh, water molecules and so they call this decahydrate. So that, that's a hydrate form. Epsom salt is the thing that we use that we typically use if you have sore feet or, or feet that are achy or hurting when you soak them in Epsom salt it makes them feel better so magnesium sulfate uh, and that would be heptahydrate we have magnesium hydroxide also known as milk of magnesia so when you have an upset stomach you take that but again that would be uh, magnesium, uh, magnesium hydroxide and then we have calcium sulfate dihydrate that is also known as gypsum or the kind of material that we use to put on the on the walls of interior buildings or houses kind of like a drywall type of thing so notice that there's many 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 common names and of course they tend to throw us, throw us out because we may not be familiar we may be familiar with the name but we may not necessarily associate it with the particular chemical formula that they go along with uh, but anyway here is uh, at least an introduction to a, a few of these common names and as you uh, delve into chemistry more you'll you know you'll encounter more of these and slowly you'll start remembering what some of these things are but at least it'll give you a nice little start on some of the more common names in chemistry